Hey guys, it's Jeff from San Diego Seed Company in the garden in January. Today we're talking about that month, January, and specifically what should you be starting from seed, what should you be transplanting out, and pretty much everything you need to know to have a good January garden. This is actually a really tricky month for me because I'm already starting to think about the spring. I'm doing my plan on the computer, probably gonna start some pepper seeds maybe this month, probably in February. So I wanted to come make this video so you guys don't get distracted with spring and we stay focused on the cool season. We're gonna talk about everything you need to know. So before I get into all of that, please do not forget to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel get out to more people so we can make more gardeners and make this community bigger and more fun and more vibrant. So thank you for those who have subscribed and keep commenting. Uh, keep it up, we love you guys. Love you guys? We do love you, but I don't need to say that. Okay, before I go any further, I wanted to give a quick plug for this calendar. Everything I'm gonna talk about today is in this calendar times a million. The great thing about it is it's all in one place. You don't have to go searching for videos or blog posts. It's all right here. You just flip to the month that you want and you're gonna know exactly what to do that month. So here I am in front of one of my beautiful heads of broccoli. This is the Waltham 29. And we are talking about broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. I apologize, I didn't even put it on the board, so I don't need it for this section. January is a month where starting this crop from seed you might be a little too late depending on the weather patterns that we have this year if you're just now starting it from seed you're really pushing it into the cool season you might get in the way of some of your spring crops but also as the days get longer the weather is going to get warmer which means more bugs you're going to be fighting aphids on this so if you have starts or you can go to the store and buy some January is a perfect time to put broccoli cabbage and cauliflower in the ground okay so next up we're talking roots remember cool season crops are anything that you eat the leaf the body or the root spring is when you eat fruits now we're talking roots radishes daikon radish beets, carrots. We've got a beautiful row of radishes here. We just actually dropped a radish video if you guys are interested in checking that out. But these are something that we always recommend starting from seed. You're not gonna wanna plant these in cells because they don't transplant well and they grow so quickly, there's really no need to do that. What I love about growing roots, especially radishes in January, is there's no bugs yet. So even though you do get a few holes here and there, you're really pest free and you're really going to flower free. So the, the days are still short, so they're not gonna go to flower and they're gonna stay tasty all month long. We're over here with my bed of kale, but before I talk about this, do you guys have uh, digging issues? I'm pretty sure this is a skunk. I don't think it's a possum, but almost every morning this time of year, I come out, they're not really messing with the plants, but sometimes they get my seeds. I've got a row of cilantro here and they just missed it, so. If you guys have any tips on getting rid of skunks, I'd rather not try to trap it because that could get messy, but deterring them out of your yard, please drop it in the comments. I would love to hear it. So let's go on to what to plant in January. Under greens, we're talking kale and collards, lettuce and spinach. These all can be direct sown or transplanted this time of year. They're relatively fast growing, so unlike with broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower where you're really pushing up against the spring. We've got plenty of time to get these in the ground. I will say before we move on, I've got to give a plug to my favorite kale. A lot of you guys don't like kale, but this Ethiopian kale is delicious. It doesn't have that kale -y taste. You're gonna love it, so give it a try. Okay, so now we're gonna talk onions. Notice I wrote green here. You can do bulbing onions, according to the calendar and all the other resources. Uh, bulbing onions are gonna do fine. I highly recommend growing them back in October, November. If you do decide to do bulbing onions, make sure they're short day, because south of the 38th parallel, you wanna do short day onions. But right here, I've got some beautiful uh, Tokyo bunching onions. I've got a row of them, and I put these in the ground that I started from seed and cells heavily, then I broke them up and split them apart along the irrigation tube. We've got a video on this if you're confused on how to start onions from seed. A lot of people will buy onion sets. It's much cheaper and it's really, really easy to just do it from seed. So January is a month for that. All right, let's hop over here to herbs. Notice it's a lot easier to just write not basil than all the other herbs that you can grow. Herbs in general are cool season crops and January is a great time to start them. I'm actually standing in front of two rows of our slow bolt cilantro, which is something I wish they could figure out how to engineer to grow in the summer because I want so badly to have fresh tomatoes, fresh peppers, and cilantro for my salsa. 
But alas, we, s I don't want to say alas, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> Henceforth. <laughs> yeah. So to get around that, we just harvest it at the end of the season, chop it up, put it in some lime juice and freeze it in ice cube trays. And then we just pop those in our salsa when we make them in the summer. I will say, make sure you stay to the end of the video because I am going to list every single herb and every single crop that you can grow in January. But for now, just remember, not basil, but all the rest. All right, now we got some odds and ends down here that don't really classify underneath these headings. Peas, snap peas, snow peas, shelling peas, and sweet peas for that matter. We recommend sweet peas definitely in the fall, but I'm here in front of our sugar daddy snap peas. Again, as similar to the root crops, we're gonna wanna direct sow peas. Peas do not transfer very well, and there's really no need to start them inside and they're big enough to pop through the native soil in your garden so definitely start peas I also brought this plant here I don't know why this is really sad this is just a potato that I saw growing volunteer in the garden potatoes you're gonna want to start now stay tuned to the channel because we have a full video on potatoes and that video has got something special a giveaway so definitely check that out later this month we're gonna send you guys some free potatoes and finally fava it's a confusing one because people think they're beans beans are notoriously finicky when it comes to soil temperature people think they're warm season crops but fava are not warm season they're cool season you can direct so them in January. Okay, so we've covered all the veggies that you're gonna grow. Let's talk about flowers. This is one thing that we really haven't been able to find a hard and fast rule about, so I recommend just looking at the calendar. Uh, alyssum, bluebell, borage, calendula, coneflower, cornflower, cosmos, echinacea, flax, four o'clock, foxglove, gallardia, gumfrina, hollyhock, hyssop, lavender, lupine, milkweed, nasturtium, nigella, poppy, sage, scabiosa, strawflower, sweet pea, wildflowers, yara. I cannot believe I did that. I am so impressed with myself. But there are a lot that you can grow in January. For these, check the seed pack to know whether you want to direct sow them in the ground, broadcast them, or start them inside in cells. And then I want to do the same thing for veggies because we come out here with the board and we have a very limited amount. There's just like the big popular ones, um, but there's a lot that you can start. So let's go through this and see if I can do it as well as I did with flowers. Beets, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, chard, endive, fava beans, fennel, kale, collards, kohlrabi, leeks, lettuce head, lettuce leaf, mesclun mix, mustards, onion green, onion medium day, onion short day, pak choy, parsnips, peas, potato, radish, scallion, spinach, tatsoi, turnip. Now, I don't know if that's good TV, but it made me feel really good to read those out loud. I hope that you guys get out into your garden in January. Drop into the comments to tell us what you're growing, what you've had success with this year, what you haven't had success with this year. And we just want to kind of grasp onto the knowledge that you guys have so we can continue to all get better in the garden. Mm -hmm.